it. I can even taste it. Can <laughs> this student of the Yaba College of Technology has worked with his mother over the years in the beans cake business to put food on their table. The quest for survival has led many into food selling business by the roadsides, especially in the Lagos metropolis. Even though this disaster commendation as a way of self-employment in an alien economy like Nigeria, the way some of these vendors operate their business leaves little or nothing to be desired due to the possible health implication. When you are displaying your food, be conscious of where you are displaying your food because microbes are in the environment. So you may not see them, but they are there. And when you open your food via dust, it, it's on, uh, it will fall, dust will get onto the food when it's exposed and then we have, start having degradation and it will lead to food poisoning. In a few years to come, the increase in street food consumption is likely to go up. Right now, people, are, people that are not eating at home probably go to um, eateries. Now, eateries can only provide so much. Now, you are likely going to see an increase in street food, the unregulated street food. So the earlier we start enlightening them, training them, letting them become aware of food safety, the better it's going to be for you and I. If I tell, tell the, the Suya man, okay, you need to be, so you need to do this cleanly, you need to be hygienic, by the time you leave them, they probably forget. But if there's sustained, uh, sustained um, uh, awareness campaign, they might, they might keep it. Nothing good will happen without collaboration. We just have to collaborate between the different professionals, between research, between industry, between academia, research, industry, together. That is when we get the products and that is when we bring the benefit to our people. More worrisome is the dangerous practice of chemical additives to food processes to increase yield, putting the public at the risk of life-threatening diseases like cancer and many more. The, the grains sometimes are, uh, are contaminated with aflatoxins. There is some research that is available right now, you know, in how to actually uh, apply best farming practices to eliminate the impact of aflatoxins right from the farm. And if you look at, you know, also the fact that you also have some products that have been developed, for example, that by IITA on Aflasafe, which can actually help. I think that this is something that comes from research as well that has impacted the industry. Now, when we speak about uh, food safety all across the value chain, if you look at the local food sector, um, maybe research might not be able to do it physically or immediately. But if we have some research, and if you look at the fact that there is a high level of penetration of the mobile phones, for instance, what if there is some research that has come out with an app or a platform or a system that can be used to disseminate this information? I think that's a way that that will be helpful. Because I think that the most important thing is education. If people know the impact of food safety on the health of the consumers, I think people will pay more attention. And I think that if you and I as consumers, for instance, we know the impact of food safety in what we eat and how that impacts our health, we'll be more careful in choosing. So those who are storing grains and are trying to, um, to prevent insects should please not use pesticides directly on our grains. Because when they do that, the pesticide residue will be in the food the maximum level of the pesticides or chemicals will be above what is required. At the end of the day, when you eat it, it could lead to tummy upset, it could lead to um, you rushing to the hospital, it could eventually lead to death. If you have professionals in food science and technology processing these agricultural raw materials, of course you won't have anything to fear with respect to adulteration, or wrong application of wrong processes and procedures for processing of food. And of course, you and I know that the application of wrong processes is what lead to unsafe, unwholesome, and bad food products. For the relevant agencies to gain further legitimacy in food safety control, the experts want the Buari-led government to assent to the charter bill that has passed three readings 
at the National Assembly. Oshuo Mowa, Daniels, AIT News, Lagos.